Welcome back mga kaibigan sa Cure. Uh, before we end this portion, Dr. Elton and Dr. Resuarez, I think it is much uh, important that we discuss the treatment and the prevention of uh, our topic which is dengue today. Uh, Doctora, what do you think of the uh, uh, treatment of dengue? Uh, actually, uh, hindi naman lahat ng dengue kailangan i-confine sa hospital. Meron tayong sinasabi na for a mild uh, infection, we can take care of these patients at home. Okay? Ang gagawin lang nito, syempre, adequate bed rest, ample fluids, okay, yung what take in lot of fluids like water, uh, even yung uh, rice water will do. Meron yung mga um, um. Uh, um, okay, uh, fruit juices, uh, milk, ano pa ba? Uh, meron tayong mga oral rehydration solution so, yes, which yes. is available in, at the drugstore. Yun ang uh, pwedeng gawin. And of course, uh, just take paracetamol, not aspirin. Because remember, aspirin, it has um, an effect sa blood clotting, okay, sa bleeding. And of course, if your fever persists for more than two days, that's the time we have to consult your doctor. I was about to ask that question. When is the best time to consult a doctor? Uh, well, the best time is, yun nga, uh, if your fever persists for two days or more, you have to... In spite to, of in the spite rehydration, of, yeah, you have to really see your doctor. In spite of your bed rest and still fever persists, that's when you see a doctor. Yeah. If you have mga rashes, tapos yung sinabi ko kanina yung if you have the danger bleeding. signs, bleeding, pupunta kayo sa doctor, di ba? And, uh, and, you know, uh, we don't really actually wait for bleeding to occur. Yeah, because that's already a late sign. That's a critical stage. That is true. Oh. Manang, before we actually end, I think uh, may mga katanungan tayo sa audience natin or sa video. Eh. Pwede ba natin ipakita natin yung... Magandang oras po, Doktor. Ang tanong namin mga tagapawa ay kung meron alternatibong gamot para sa nagkasakit ng dengue. Uh, I just want to uh, siguro rephrase her question. Quack, Parang doctor. ang gusto niyang, it, uh, what she is trying to ask is probably meron ba yung mga parang herbal medicine or... I think so, yeah. Uh, herbal medicine Albularyo na pwede, pwede or... mong inumin. Uh, the answer is walang iba, kundi you need oral rehydration solution. Just take in a lot of fluids. Okay? In For example, in spite of your uh, taking in uh, ample amount of fluids at nagkakaroon ka pa rin ng fever or your condition deteriorates, then you have to see your doctor probably because Uh, you have to probably you need already this uh, intravenous fluids o yung tinatawag na dextrose, di ba? Suero. I think may, mayroon pa tayong isang katanungan. Magandang araw mga doctors. Uh, ang tanong ko lang, bakit mga bata ang karaniwang tinatamaan ng dengue? Ah... Uh, Uh, di ba ang one of the characteristic of uh, the Aedes aegypti mosquito gusto nila yung warm blooded and gusto nila yung Seeking. yung ano yung gumagalaw yung kanilang victim that's why Kasi, children uh -oh, oh. gusto gustong gusto talaga nila yung ano eh yung energetic yung warm na blood that's why itong mga bata they are more active than the adults then uh, this is the reason why probably mas ano sila attracted sila sa mga bata. Ate may mga katanungan pa dito eh. So ano ba ang mga pwede mong i-share sa mga manonood kung paano ma-prevent ng isang tao na magkaroon ng dengue infection? Uh, if you are familiar with the 4S ng DOH, ang sinasabi dito sa 4S, you have to search and destroy okay the mosquito breeding sites. Then, another is that yung second is to seek immediate consultation, especially if your fever persists for two days or more. And for your protection, you wear your self-protective uh, devices yeah. or ano, long sleeves, long yung pants. Yung mga off, doctora, does it work? Yung mga skin repellent. Yeah, skin repellent. Uh, if you think that will work, then you try. You even have uh, this buzzer, I yeah. think. Anti-dengue buzzer. You also have that... 
uh, pain, anti-dengue pain, yeah. and so much and so, so forth. So, anything that you think can repel the mosquito, pwede. As long as not, uh, it's not harmful to the uh, mm -hmm. user. Mm -hmm. may and pa, may no? isa pang S. Ano kaya yun? Ah, yung fogging na yan. Say no to indiscriminate fogging. Talaga. Yung fogging, yeah. Kasi, uh, there, there's a right time. There's a right time to do the fogging. Ang sinasabi kasi, it should be done during epidemic. Siguro probably because mas madaming mosquito, mas marami kang matarget na mosquito. Because the effect na of fogging is contact. Pag tinamaan siya, mamamatay siya. Pero pag hindi siya tinamaan, hindi, hindi niya mapapatay yun. And remember that the characteristic of this of this Aedes mosquito is nasa loob ng bahay because they are already domesticated. Effective ang fogging pag pumapasok mismo yung nag yung nagpa-fog sa loob ng bahay. Is it safe no para fogging? Hindi ba delikado rin sa mga ibang I mean uh, of course it's dangerous. I mean it's uh, anti it's insecticidal. Then if they do that outside if they do that outside they probably they can do it inside because all of us will be exposed anyway to the outdoors. Yeah. So you mean, Doktora, yung mga ginagawa sa barangay ano? na paging hindi masyadong makakatulong sa pagpatay ng mga lamok? Uh, yun nga eh, kasi dapat, uh, di ba it's useless that if you do fogging without wala ka namang natatarget? It's just like it's shotgun, just... shotgun therapy. Uh Oo. -oh. Okay. Na... Sige, uh, we have you're one. Not, oh. You are not targeting the... You're not killing the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes. You're okay. driving them away. You're just driving them away and then babalik na naman okay. sila. Okay, we have one last question. So, uh, pag nagka-dengue ka na ba, pwede bang maulit ito? Oo, pwedeng maulit ulit. Because remember that there are four serotypes of uh, Aedes aegypti mosquito. The serotype 1, 2, 3, and 4. So that if you, you have four uh, probability that you could be infected by the uh, virus, di ba? So that nagkaroon ka ngayon ng isa, for example, sa serotype 1, Yun, you could be 100% immune or lifelong from immunity from serotype one. 1. Now, your immunity from other uh, serotypes 2, 3, and 4, pag nagkaroon ka ngayon ng infection from those serotypes within a span of, let's say, for example, 3 to 6 months, you will be partially immune. Immune. But it's not a lifelong uh, immunity. Pwede ka pa rin magkaroon ng three probability or diba, three chances of having... So how long, Doktora, before the second, like let's say, how many months do you have to wait for it to be infective again? Like if you had zero type 1 dengue infection now, and then how long will be the second, like if you are being beaten by a so if you're, zero type 2? Oh, pag you're, partially, you're partially immune for the first months? Yeah, you could be partially immune for the first three, six, three to six months. Yun ang sinasabi ng uh, ibang books. Sa personal experience mo, Doktora, meron na ba tayo na yung isang bata nagkadengge ngayon, bu ngayon buwan ngayon, na to? Last and then, year. Yeah. Yes, or last year. Last year. And then this year, you yeah. see him or her again yeah. for the same infection? I have a patient right now uh, last year, he was uh, previously admitted for a dengue, although he didn't bleed. And again, uh, ang I think the same year, the same uh, same Season, month, same, same month. Ngayon na naman meron na naman siya. Uh, usually, oh, kasi for the past four past four years, the peak incidence of uh, dengue infection is usually August. So, so katatapos lang, katatapos lang but Ganun pa rin. It's all year round naman yan eh. Is it worse on the second uh, infection, Dr. Like uh, if you were infected last year and second infection now, is, will it be worse? Uh, they say that the secondary infection is worse than the primary infection because of the antibody uh, dependent enhancement. Which means to say that uh, there could be an antibody, you develop the antibody from your first infection and then when it will, it, that cannot, yeah, it cannot neutralize the present antigen that you have, so it may even worsen your condition. Masyadong seryoso na yata, Dr. Elton. Kasi in summary, we have uh, uh, 
uh, four, four times kang possible na pwedeng magkaroon, magkaroon ng, dengue ng dengue infection. And the infection gets worse on the second, third, and subsequent mga infections. Ayan, Totora. So, bago tayo magtapos, pwede bang magbigay ka ng mga tip sa ating mga nanonood kung ano-ano bang mga paraan na pwede nilang gawin para ma-prevent ang dengue infection? So, kagaya ng sinabi ko a while ago, uh, the prevention of uh, dengue infection ay hindi lang para sa isa, kundi for the whole community. That's the reason why we advocate the search and destroy of the mosquito breeding sites. Okay? And for us to seek immediate consultation when we have fever, regardless of the duration of uh, fever, kahit isa, dalawang araw lang, especially during rainy days because it's, this is the time that uh, dengue infection is very uh, common. And of course, you have to protect yourself. That's why you have, to, especially if you go outdoors, you wear your uh, pants, your long sleeves, and use the uh, skin repellents. Use mosquito nets. That's, that will do. Okay. And if you are not sure as to whether you have dengue or not, go and see your go and pediatrician. see your doctor. Your favorite pediatrician. pediatrician. Your doctor. Favorite doctor for that matter. Oh, ayan. Natapos na ang ating talakaya ngayong araw na ito. Sana po marami po kayong natutunan sa episode natin. At sana pangalagaan natin ang ating kalusugan, mga kaibigan. Bago po tayo magtapos... Yeah, we would like to uh, thank our sponsors, uh, Tinay Emporium, Anatomist Fitness Gym, Ihawan Sakawayan, Sir Richard and uh, Gina, uh, H.A. Salis Marketing, Mayra Kerubin of Israel, J.J. Video, Ilocosur Medical Association, headed by Dr. Esperanza Panching Lajos, Noli Morales, Saloon, Friendship Noli, Baka may gusto kayong pasalamatan ng mga doctors. Any uh, sponsors for you, Dr. Elton? Ako wala. Sabi mo ng lahat. Sabi mo ng lahat. Of course, our beloved Ilocosur Medical Society and all of the hospital staff of all hospitals. Uh, si Dr. pala, <laughs> officer siya ng yes. Ilocosur Medical Society. Yes. And that's it for today. Abangan niyo ulit ang susunod na episode at ugaliing panood ng Cure ay wala kaming ibang hangat kundi magandang kalusugan para sa inyong lahat. Ito ang programang tumatalakay sa ating kalusugan at ito ang CURE! Cure.